Gary. Unfortunately, my other camera went out while I was filleting. All in me. Nothing but meat, boy. Lord. Yo, 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 what's going on, people? Boss Man CMV Outdoors. How everybody doing today? I'm in the kitchen today, doing a surprise catch clean cook. I'm gonna cook some of that blue and uh, those crappie that I caught on the last video. I hope y'all enjoyed that last video. I wanted to add the catch clean cook to that video, but it would've just been too long, so this is just a continuation. I got everything set up, so let me show y'all what I'm working with, and uh, y'all stay tuned. 
So here go the fish. We got the blue filet in the middle, then we got the crappie on the sides. This is what we're working with today. We got the garlic and the herb. Got some Himalaya salt. We got the garlic, we got the onion, we got a little cayenne pepper, we got the slap your mama. We got the Louisiana fish fry. Then I got a little flour right here. And also, I'm gonna be cooking red beans. And these are the red beans I use right here. If you don't have time to cook no hard, no hard bean, and you want a good red bean in a can, you can't lose with blue rum. These here taste pretty good coming straight out the can. Also, I'll be cooking corn on the cob. I got the old t fail crunk up, ready to go. I usually start my temperature out with 374. And then once it get to the quiet temperature, I back off a little bit, maybe maybe about 350, between 350 and 360. What I usually try to do, I just try to mix all my seasonings in a bowl and mix them all together. That way I, ain't, I don't have to be sprinkling every single, I don't have to, I don't have to be reaching for every single bottle. I'm not doing a wet a wet rub, I'm doing a dry rub. Got that good to go. Y'all stay tuned.
set that right there till I get done. first. I didn't know how I wanted to cut this catfish up, but I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna start by cutting it down the middle and get that bloodline out of there. If y'all don't know what the bloodline is, this the bloodline right here, this part right here, and all of that. You can try to clean some of that up if you want to, you don't have to, but I found out it make your fish Tastes a whole lot better. You can just try to clean the majority of it up. If you can, you just take that fillet, fillet knife and run it up under that bloodline, just real, real thin off the surface. Like that. And that's it. I'm not gonna get too technical with it. I got the majority of it off and uh, we're gonna rock with it like this here. I think I'm just cutting him up in steaks. Kinda like, I don't know if I should cut that in half or what, but we'll see. This thick piece right here, I think I'm just running my knife down the middle of it. That's it, man. Let's get this catfish in some grease, man. I'm sure thinking about cutting this again.
And what I do with the rest of my season, I'll take some of it and just pour it in, the, in there with the batter. Smash that down, let some of the air out of it. Get this crappie. Gonna get this crappie popping right quick. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all know I like my crappie. Extra crispy. So I don't want to hear nobody in the comments talking about, hey boss man, when the fish start floating, it's ready. I know it's ready, but I like mine extra crispy. Know what I'm talking about? If you know what I'm talking about, Drop a comment and say extra crispy. Oh my goodness, look at that. Man, look at that crappie, man. Oh my goodness. Y'all stay I got the catfish going now. Oh my goodness. Man, look at that. Look at that catfish, man. Oh my goodness. Since these pieces are a little thick, I'm trying to let them stay in there a little bit longer without burning them. I'm still gonna get my extra crispy. They're still gonna be extra crispy, but I don't wanna I don't want to burn them and lose that pretty, that pretty golden brown color. So I'm gonna take them out here in a second. I'm 
one of us floating, I'm just gonna go ahead and take them out. <laughs> so this discussion I'm about to let y'all listen in on is why does a trolling motor face you in the direction of the wind? No, I tell you what, you call me Coda and ask. No, you want me to show you the power of the pie. You want me to touch your fish, man. Look, I'm getting on your phone. It's simple physics. I'm going to simple, simple physics explain how your boat does what it does when the wind blows. All that trolling motor is doing is trying to get you back to a spot. But why you saying two lock? Or why you saying a six degree? Spot lock. Why you saying three hundred and six degrees back to the spot lock? Why you saying it's it's cause my fuck up. He must have had some bourbon tonight or something.
This is what I'm doing right now. Listening to these, listening to these guys and working on this here. Well, that's it, people. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. And uh, I ain't gonna do too much talking, and you already know. You ain't getting a piece.